Well, in the summer last year, Sonny Garcia goes to Huntington Beach, California. He placed a second in one event, first in the other event, the U.S. Open. And Sonny, you were telling me earlier, I asked you, why do you like Huntington Beach so much? And, and I read, read a quote also, and it's because of why. I like the crowds. I mean, you know, the people, people are great. They come out and they cheer for you. Um, and even when they're not cheering for you, you know, they cheer for the other guy, makes you try even harder. So um, the crowds, you know, play a big part. You know, the waves aren't the best waves in the world, but, you know, Huntington always seems to have some kind of a wave, and it's never been really flat. It's right. always, you know, it's always, you know, always been fun. Yeah. So, you know, I, I really enjoy surfing Huntington. You always hear about the Huntington hop. I mean, when the waves are small, you got to do the Huntington hop or whatever. And do you, my, my reason to ask that question is, do you bring it's, a number of different boards with you? With the, with the waves being big or small? Not really. I just, you know, usually I just bring, you know, two boards and they're usually just small wave boards. So just use the, the same board for any kind of condition. Yeah. You and I were talking about it and I said, you know, do you think you'll be doing this 10 years from now in a, in a different light? Like, you're, the, you, you're a president of an association now in the surfing world. And I said, do you think you'll take that a little bit further? And it's kind of kind of curious because you said, Paul, I don't take anything you know, for granted, and I don't look at the next day. I just live yeah. for today. I, 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 you know, I've always lived for today. I mean, for me, like I said, I mean, tomorrow, tomorrow's tomorrow. I might die in my sleep, and, yeah. you know, tomorrow's not even a factor. So I live in today, and, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow I'll deal with it when I wake up. Yeah. You know, all this alternative sports, action sports is going on. It's, it's going crazy. I mean, we have Ryan Sheckler coming up on the show here in a few minutes, and the skateboarder, and you've got BMX going off. FMX, you know, you follow Jeremy's yeah. career. Of all those sports, if you weren't a surfer, what would you be in, you think? I think I'd want to be a motocross guy. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a motocross fan. I mean, I go to our, all the supercrosses in the beginning of the year that, that are here in California, and then whatever else I can get to, you know, in between events or yeah. before the season's over. You're not injured right now, are you? No. Okay, you feeling really good? Yeah. Of all the injuries that you have had, what is the most common injury in the sport of surfing? Um, I think, you know, a lot of guys blow their knees out. I think it's the worst injury. I mean, knees are pretty bad because, you know, as far as surfing, you, you have to use them all the time. I mean, you know, I've, I've hurt my shoulders and, you know, elbow and everything else and still manage to be able to surf. But if you yeah. hurt your knees, you, you, you're out until that knee's That's pretty right. well healed. It's a tough one to overcome, too. In the sport yeah, of it is. You, you, when I said I opened up the show by saying you know, I'm really in awe uh, of you and what you do because I don't ever test Mother Nature because I think Mother Nature is always going to win. But to see some of the ways that you've been in, to see some of the conditions that you've surfed in and out of, where do you get that type of personality to be able to paddle out on a day that is way overhead and you're able to succumb the waves? I think, you know, living or well, growing up in Hawaii has, has been. Um you know, advantage because Hawaii's got, you know, we have these huge channels that you, you can paddle out on a, you know, 20 foot day at Waimea and you can sit in the channel and watch hmm. and, you know, build up the courage to, you know, slowly paddle out and get bigger waves and, you know, get a little deeper and a little deeper and, you know, kind of work your way into it. So yeah. I think, you know, you know, living in Hawaii has been a benefit that, that you know, some people like in California, if the waves get big here, right. It's just one big beach break. It's you know a lot yeah. harder to get out. So that's it's, right. It's Maybe a lot that's harder my problem. I learned how to surf in, in California. <laughs> you know, when I, we come back, I want to talk to you about that aloha spirit in Hawaii because there's certain feeling that you get when you go to Hawaii, and there's a certain feeling that you get when you leave Hawaii that you can't wait to get back, no matter where you are. Yeah. And I tell you what, Sunny Garcia has been to some of the most exotic, most beautiful places in the world. Hawaii's home. We'll find out why right after this on XBS. <laughs> 